never understood why the song was called Aloha. No, because uh, it had something to do with that, bit. that. It was a Hawaiian song. Yeah, it did. There was yeah. a Hawaiian song that was lingering yeah. around. There was a, a Hawaiian song that had a Hawaiian slide guitar in it. And I, and I called it Aloha, and then there was another demo of another song which was called Bear With A Sore Head. Which isn't Bear With A Sore Head now. Yeah. But it was a demo, and then we, then we did a demo of us playing it, these two playing it. Yeah. And then I called that Aloha, and Bear With A Sore Head got called Bear With A Sore Head. Hello bit got inspired by the fact that it was called, called Aloha. Aloha. Right. And it was called Aloha because I had this because it had Hawaiian. Hawaiian. We always take the long way. Yeah, we took the long <laughs> way. We get there. The long way. Anyway, we took the we long way there. and I think with the lyrics, it was started off as a um, as an idea because we because I'd written King Must Die on the first record, and then we had written Friendly Fire pretty early on in the piece, which was like the second chapter to King Must Die. And they were both sort of cynical, fairly angry songs about the world because of the Iraq war and all that business. And then I wanted to write lyrically a kind of uplifting song, getting people to get into the whole concept of like moving on and a, and a revolution. And so I wanted to write something really positive and then Drew had, say, gave, me, gave me a line. I don't know what the line was. One of the lines King in the and song, Kaiser. Yeah, he wanted to write a song with the words Welcome King and... No, King and Kaiser. And I said, it'd be cool to say Welcome King and Kaiser. And mm. that's all, the lyrics all grew from that. So that's where the lyrics come from. And hopefully it's a like a po positive reflection on a couple of negative songs we'd written about mm. all of the Iraq stuff. Mm. So that's the lyrics of Aloha. And it's also a fucking kicking song. <laughs> And I don't, and I get to run around and be an absolute goose when we play live. I get to stand up to play, mm -hmm. and because the the bass and the drums just keep it rolling along. I get to use my big enough. You should you should stand up and play too. Oh, that would be so. R Resin dogs mm. again. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? No, about I, really like, I really like playing a live. Um, mm. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it feels like it feels like it's almost like um, going to see a band and there's a bass solo. <laughs> that's kind of how oh, I now feel. It comes out that's how I feel about Aloha. It's kind of like I feel like it's my it's your little shining, your it's my little shining moment in the time. set. I think it's I really a, it's like I think it's, it's, really it's, 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 it's for, for yeah, both of us though because that beat that Ian plays is just smash. I love that beat. It's yeah. fucking cool, cool beat. And Very it's, cool beat. it's my right. favourite song to play, and I play nothing in it. Well, hardly anything. Hardly anything. I play some sounds. Melotron. Play the Mellotron. Yeah. Mellotron. I sing a few notes and that's about it. Yeah. But it's cool. It just ro it just rocks live and it's good fun. Uh, unprofessional. <laughs> okay, unprofessional. <bye> <laughs>